Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about how to use the Angular's uh, currency pipe in your reactive forms input field like this guy. You're typing some value, it's automatically formatted to the currency format. But this is a reactive form group, and this is a form control. How do you do that? It's actually fairly easy, so I will show you the code. Um, first of all, let's increase the font a little bit uh, so you can see it clearer. Three should be fine. Okay, good. So first of all, you need to import something in your module. Uh, this is my module. I imported this currency pipe from Angular Common, and it's provided at the module level. So this currency pipe can be used in your template, which we all know with this pipe operator. Uh, you can use any uh, yeah stuff, um, currency pipe or other pipe. You can display the data in a different format. But it can also be imported in your module and a component. So here we provided the module level, then we import it in your component, so we can use it. <clears throat> if you look at the template of this component, it's super super easy. It's just one line of code: input, mat input, form control name is called a net worth, and uh, there's a placeholder. So basically, you just have an input field. Super easy. What happens, the magic happens here is in your uh, component. The template is just one line of code. A component, you have private currency pipe, so you import this currency pipe in your constructor. And then you have this form group with this net worth field. And the secret source here is use your value changes event of your form. So whenever your form has value changes, you will subscribe to that event and if the net worth is not a blank, so if the value change is not deleting that field, make it a blank. So if it's not a blank, we will use this patch value method. So what value do we patch? So whenever the value changes, we will first remove all the non digits. So if you type something nonsense, the comma, dollar sign, or English letters, they will all be removed. So this is a regular expression. Anything that is not a digit uh, is removed globally, every occurrence is removed. So what you're left is just a sequence of digits, one, two, three, four, five, eight, whatever. And the digit must make sense. So you are removing again the leading zeros, at least one or more leading zeros. They are removed, another regular expression. So what you're left with is either blank or a valid number, like 362 or something. So not leading by zero and only digits. So once you create this string that is valid number, you can pass this number to your currency pipe and transform that number to your uh, currency format, US dollar with the commas, separating the uh, numbers. Yeah. And you also want to use emit event equals false because he, here, form value changes. Your code will make the value change as well. Without this, dis without disabling events, you will have a back and forth infinite loop. Your code make changes to add the comma and dollar symbol, then changes happen as it is emitted, and the value changes called, then you will remove that dollar sign and comma again, then add it back in, then you will emit event. This infinite loop, that's not what you want. So you want to disable emit event. So it's fairly simple, right? Just uh, grab whenever the value changes, grab that value, remove the non digits, remove the leading zeros to make the valid number. Or blank, and then you convert that that number of blank into the currency format, and disable emit event. That's all there is to it. Simple, simple. So if you type something nonsense like English letters, nothing happens. You type leading zeros, nothing happens. Only if you type bad numbers, it will convert that to the currency format, which is uh, quite convenient. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you.